Hello and welcome to the third tutorial in the how to create a wheels how to create a wheel mini series. Excuse me. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to show you how to create the center portion and some of the little bolts or the hub, what we call the hub uh, of this wheel. You can see that we've already created the tire and the rim, and in the last tutorial, we created the spokes. Now, right now, you can see that there are some overlaps of these spokes. That's okay because we're going to kind of mask these with the hub section, which is going to be about this size of this circle here. We might shrink that down a little bit. So let's get started. So I'm going to just use this circle here. We already have it. And I'm going to scale it down to something like this. Let's see, maybe a little smaller. Let's go like that. There we go. And actually, I'm just going to do an extrude on it. And since it's already in the middle, I'm actually going to turn on the two-way extrude. And I'm just going to extrude it out just a little bit so it goes just barely past the edge of those spokes. So if I zoom in here, it goes just past the kind of front edge. And on the back, it's looking pretty good there. Ah, that's the reason why we had a little issue in the last tutorial with the array tool. This shape, for some reason, uh, I split this circle. So I'm going to redo this. There is an issue with this circle, so let's get rid of it, erase it, and then let's go back to the side view, and I'm going to make another circle. Just going to draw a circle. Before I do that, I'm going to turn my snap tool on because I'll need this. I'll just draw a circle up, oh, have it correct. There we go. There is my new circle. This should work. Perfect. I'm going to snap it into location right over the origin and then scale it back down to that size that we are working with just a moment ago. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing. Go over to extrude, make sure two way is on and I'm going to extrude out just past the front of those spokes. Let's do like that. All right, I'm going to actually select the front, this uh, front cir circle here again, and I'm going to do another extrude on it. This time I'm going to turn the two way off. I'm just going to extrude it out just a little bit, something like this. And once this is done, I'm going to scale this down. I'm going to shrink it. And what you'll, what you'll see is I get kind of this nice little conical shape here. Now, once I have that, I'm going to turn on the duplicate. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to scale it just up a little bit more, make sure that, and push it back, actually. There we go. Now I have two options. I can actually make a flat edge here. So once I have this selected, I can just do create surface. And that looks pretty good actually, very simple. Uh, keep that design very simple. You just have kind of this flat cap, wheel cap here, center. And then we can go around and put the, uh, the bolts in. Um, the other option that we have is we can kind of create something a little bit more geometric, uh, and that is that I can actually do another extrude back in like this, and then from there create the flat surface, so it's just kind of give a lip. So you have a couple different options in, in what you do there. So I actually like the, the simple one better. So I'm just going to go back and I'm just going to create a surface there. I think that looks better for this design. And now to finish this up, we are going to do the little hardware. And I, I have a couple options of what I could do there. Um, just to keep this simple and for demonstration, and pur demonstration purposes, I'm going to do five bolts and I'm going to use a shape from the playground to do this. I'm going to go over primitives, go into 2D primitives, 
go to basic shapes and I'm going to use the uh, hexagon. Download that, zoom out here, and just drag this into the scene. So we have our hexagon there. Make sure that we rotate it, come to the top view, rotate it. There we go. And I'm going to scale this down, something that will kind of look about right for the scale of the wheel. And what this is going to be is this is kind of representing the bolt uh, that you would use to bolt on the wheel. I'm going to drag, oh, select that, and oh, that's not what I want. Now I'm going to move this all the way back here. We have snap to grid on, so snap it there. Actually, something like that. Create a surface with that, and then we're going to extrude this out just a little bit. Oh. Now I'm just going to extrude this back because it's only for uh, kind of visual purposes. And I'll select that whole extrusion. Turn the snapping off, and I'm just going to move this over and kind of place this in an area that looks good. Then just kind of push it back. Just come over and hide the rim and the tire. There we go. And push that down just a little bit like that. There we go. So now we have a bolt. And now we can take the bolt. I'm just going to select the bolt. Let's see. Up. Oh, it's selecting more than just the bolt, but there we go. And now we have that. Is that everything? Yep. And we'll do another array function on that. So now that we have that, make sure that we put this on its own layer. Come over, create new layer, assign it, and rename it to bolts. There we go. And then we'll just do an array function on this as well. So by default five, that's exactly what we wanted. You saw that when I did that array, because we had these uh, nice circles, it worked out just fine. Tap done, we have those. And then we're gonna turn on the tire and the rim. And there we have it. So these bolts are kind of protruding. That's okay. Let's just say it's a design element and there's kind of like these housing or some housings around the bolts, the hardware or something like that. And you have a complete wheel. So you can see in just with just a few curves and a little bit of editing and the magic of the array tool and the revolved surface tools, you can get to a wheel in just a little bit of time. Uh, in total, I believe that these tutorials took around 30 minutes uh, for the three tutorials. However, uh, when you're creating, uh, it can go a lot faster, um, especially because uh, I'm not explaining things. You can just kind of move at your own pace. Um, we can't wait to see what wheels you create. Uh, feel free to share them on the You Make community or on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. And if you have any comments or questions uh, for us or feedback on these videos, feel free to let us know. Uh, let us know on our YouTube channel, our Facebook channel, uh, Twitter, Instagram as well. And again, like I said, can't wait to see what you make uh, in terms of wheels and I'd, uh, pretty much anything. 
So take care, guys, and I hope these tutorials were helpful. Bye-bye.